vitality, the fundamental inner resource of vitality. That's the journey that's going to be happening over the next 10 weeks. And it stems mainly from the level two module, which was stress and vitality. And it was interesting before I went away for this module. Oh my gosh. So it'll be so physical, we're gonna be doing all the breath fire, we're gonna be doing all this full on stuff to get our energy built up and you pretty much learn your bum and meditate for a whole week. <laughs> Which really opened up a deep understanding of what vitality is. We have this concept that it is having enough energy to get through our very busy days. That's not really vitality. That's just a conception that we have, a concept that we have of we have put this much demand in our life and we have to meet it. And the thing is, we always meet the demands, but not necessarily with the amount of energy or vibrancy that we want. And often we get vibrancy and vitality mixed up. What vitality really is, and Guru, um, Yogi Bhajan says it's beautiful, Vitality is a universal gift of consciousness, caliber, and strength. And what the, the depth of that is, it means that vitality is this blessing that's in, bestowed on, in, inside of us. It's something we don't need to go out and seek. It's not something you need to do to enhance. It's not something that you have to live a certain way or have a certain lifestyle to make sure you have enough vitality for the day. It is a gift and we all have it. And how this gift works, it is a balance and this is the important part of understanding vitality. It is consciousness because consciousness has been born in as you and as me and as every person to experience life. So for consciousness to be able to experience that life, it has vitality to be able to do it. That also takes strength because in regards to strength, there is times when you can't get here. When you're sitting in the car going, oh, I just can't get there, but you can. That's the strength that it was referred to in regards to vitality. It is the, the I don't want to say energy because it's more than that. It's that driving force within you to be able to apply yourself for situations that you're meant to be doing. Not all the situations that you've planned and you've filled up your schedule within, but the thing that you are meant to be doing at the moment, that strength will come through so that you can have the ability to do that. And Calibre, which you're very aware of, it's the focus. It's being able to just shoot through and reach the target. And that's the combination of what vitality is. So it's not that little energizer bunny that we have all been brought up with, where you just bounce around, bounce around, and when you run out of it, you get some more and bounce around again. It is this ever flow, the balance of these three things of how what consciousness is needing to experience life as you and then the strength of the caliber for your energy to deliver that experience so if you are depleted which means you can't go to work because you're exhausted that might be a representation that consciousness actually at that period of time wants the rest once the relaxation and that was what you were saying just then about cutting your hours back or not taking on more work this term because right now that's what vitality is for you vitality is the rest the rebuild the rejuvenation and it's such an important i don't even like the word concept with this because it's deeper than that it's such an important truth to get your head around because we live in a nation, a globe, not a nation, addicted to coffee, addicted, addicted to the stimulants to go, 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 when a resting and rejuvenation is just as much as important for vitality as that energy. So that's a little journey 
that you're going to be having yeah. this 10 weeks. So let's close our hands and today we're just going to really play around with what vitality is. So close your eyes, placing your hands on your knees, palms facing up. Pushing down into the earth. Feeling that support rushing up to meet you. Stretch through the spine, allowing the crown of the head to reach up towards the heavens and roll the eyes up and into the third eye chakra. Tapping into the divinity and the vastness and allowing this to expand your awareness. Drop into the heart space, feeling the ribs expanding in the four directions. And bring your hands together and start to rub them. And place palm to palm, thumbs in at the heart center. And as you chant the Om Namo Gurudev Namo, Feel the vibration of the mantra resonating throughout your being. Inhale fully, exhale completely, and inhale as you chant. Um. Intention is set. May I find balance within, between doing and being, through active engaging and relaxing, allowing the beautiful blend of consciousness to experience through my life with strength and calibre more than ever before for the benefit of all. Exhale. And sealing that in with three rounds of Arbara and Ame. Inhale, suspend, Mumbanda, bringing your hands in prayer position all the way up, just past the top of your head. And then exhale, sweep through your aura, radiating out your light, claiming your space, and rest in the back of your hands on the earth. And just breathe. 